Welcome back to the Todd Deering Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with another video. This time I want to talk to you about the X Transmos Gravestone, which is their take on Motormaster. And it's a great looking figure. It looks great in both modes. Really like it. They've got some extra little features in here. So let's get right into it. I got this at Shozy. You can get yours too. Link down below. Let's have a look at this box. It's it's actually really small for as big of a figure as he is. And he comes in, of course, his truck mode or cab mode. And there's his tech specs. Just basically all that's in there is this. <laughs> there's this, how it's packed in, instruction. I thought it was pretty interesting. Wow, that's just like tightly packed, wasting no space. So the first thing I really want to talk about with this guy is the fact that it doesn't come with the trailer, it doesn't come with the combining parts, it really just comes with this. But since I got it all hooked up, we're going to go ahead and see that it looks pretty good with the MP10 trailer, and they use the same hookups, the MP10 trailer, and I, I assume the next trailer is going to look exactly the same, but it's got perfect slots that fit the trailer, it rolls, it holds on, it's not super easy to get in there though, but well, it takes a little bit of work. But there it is, we can pull this out, you can see those little tabs go into these slots right here. And so they did set it up to use the MP10 trailer. Now, this figure has some extra fun gimmicks in this alt mode here with these movable tires. So let's go move this screen down just a bit. And so you can reposition the tires to make it look like it's turning, which I think is just awesome. And a great way to showcase the possibility and the display of an alt mode. That's just something interesting. I didn't ex I didn't expect that. I thought that was really cool. I thought that looked really good the way they did that. But uh, this thing is beautiful. And it's, I'm starting to think that almost the whole thing is painted because this stuff here, a little bit of this had a little paint rub on the styrofoam and it's got such a nice glisten to it. I like the transparent purple. You do kind of see the inner workings there past that purple. This is a beautiful metallic purple, silver, chrome. Just so much detail in this figure all over. So much beautiful paint. I, I, it's just, wow, x Transbots is awesome. They're doing great. The rear looks perfect. It looks just amazing. It looks clean everywhere you look at it. Every single angle of all mode looks clean. The bottom, well, you can see kind of his chest and some stuff, but he does look really, really good. Let's do some comparisons. So here he is next to a G1, and, you know, that really looks right. That's kind of just the way, well, even with the Prime trailer, it looks pretty good. You can put a Decepticon symbol on there, but uh, it's, it's a little bit darker gray. But it matches up the aesthetic very well. It looks great. Here is the Stunticon team. That Stunticon team looks pretty good together. I'll take that, that looks good. If you're gonna display them in alt mode. Now I really don't see any true storage for either of these accessories in the alt mode, but here they are. This is a beautifully painted, uh, kind of a metallic purple. Looks nice, I like it. And then a sword, which it probably is painted with the same, same color paint as the figure. Looks like pretty close. But yeah, looks nice. It's just both of these weapons, they do the job. They get the job done. Let's get into the transformation of this guy. And it's not really too hard, but first thing you want to do is pull down on these and you want to get them past this lip here on both sides. And it's, it's, it's pretty gentle. And then you want to get this back piece disconnected here. And right here are, there's like two teeth in each side or tabs. And so you'll want to move the arm and the shoulders out of the way as you're pulling them down one at a time. That was kind of a struggle. I did go off camera and loosen that up. Just pulling those apart to loosen that up, that's a struggle because of these 
teeth that hold it in. That's those two tabs. Wow, that's in there tight. So anyway, so the next thing you want to do down here we have a it's a tab and it, you need to push down on it to disconnect it. Just like that. And then we're gonna fold all this, make sure we clear this out of the way. And now we're gonna work on the lower legs. All right, so let's go ahead and fold this all the way around. Make sure this is pushed in. We're gonna fold that down on the leg like so. We're gonna do that on both sides. Fold it all the way around, make sure that this is pushed in. And there it goes. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up right here. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna expose some all this mechanism in here. We're going to slide down the thigh. This tab is gonna hold this whole thing in place. We wanna fold all of this up into here. And then while we're in here, up to slide that foot out. And then we're going to fold this in, which there's clearance for this just perfectly right here. So fold this in. There's a tab right there, and it all tabs in and holds it in place. Let's go ahead and get this folded up for the fake wheels that are gonna be on the foot, and then we have to push this heel out. I am going to use a coated paper clip. So I still haven't got a spudger yet, but anyway, this will work. Fold that heel out. Hold it all into place. Close that back up. Close this back up. And then we have to position it properly so that we have one leg done. One leg done, let's do the other one. So, we gotta open all this up. Go from this angle here. Open it up, double, fold that down, fold this down. On the inside of this leg, we're gonna slide up just on a slider. And then we need to fold this flap up, which disconnects the foot so the foot can slide out. Then we can close all this up. Fold that down. And then let's do this bottom of this foot. Let's go ahead and move it forward now. You fold this down again to make the fake mini wheels. We know the wheels are there, but there's the fake miniature wheels. And then I'm going to use my coated paper clip to push the heel spur out. There it is. Out comes the heel spur. Oh man, heel spur went the wrong direction. Let's get that heel spur back out. There it goes. And then we need to get that heel spur, pull that bad boy down. We have the legs done. Next up, we need to open up the arms. They rotate right here. Oddly enough, this side looked open already, and it's giving me more trouble than the side that didn't look open. All right, now we are going to pull these flaps here out and we want to make sure that we grab them by the lower section. There we go. Needed assistance on that. Fold it out and then these two pieces here fold down to have tab in right there. It seems like everything is really tight on mine and I don't know why. It tabs in to right there. All right, now you can fold this down and slide that 
whole, I don't know if you saw that, but there's, it's on a slider. Slide that to make it level there. Now, so the next thing we're gonna wanna do is open up this roof piece and double hinge it down to move the head. Okay, and from there, we're going to lift this up to pull down the chest. The chest folds out. And this feels good, this is die cast. Get that last little bit there to make the chest. Now, as you can see, the wheels are gonna fold in there, but we're not there yet. Open up these top pieces here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the head out, but you have to make sure this is on slider too, a little bit, like a little bit of a slider. You cannot get that on camera. They have to be all the way out while you rotate this. And it's gonna feel like, yeah, it does feel like there's not clearance. So this is going to be the fun part. Passing it through there. It can only go that one way too. That doesn't sound good. There it goes. That did not sound good. So you gotta fold this piece here down. And then when you come up, you can make them flat. There it goes. And then you need to fold the wheels in like so. Don't close your chest until you have the arms in place like this. Around to the back. We can go ahead and close this up. With uh, one of these has a tab right here. So you want that one to go down first and then the other one. And then this back piece, we need to get it into place. Okay, these parts are gonna go upward, out of the way. Now, you need it to go in like so. It's just this little piece that goes with this. You can see how it just kind of notches into place. There it goes. See how it, it fits in there just right? This fits in there just right, it's only one way. And then we're gonna work on this here. I'm gonna fold this down, fold this around, and then you need to push this piece in. There you go. Now that'll give it clearance to cover over over that side view mirror. And then it should all just fold this back. It snap into place now. And it did snap into place. So we're going to, in that back piece, push that down. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side real quick. Let's get this all knocked out. We'll go start with pushing this piece in right there. Fold it around, all the way around. We can see that. And then we're going to fold this down, fold this piece in, then fold all that around, get it out of the way, push this up, fold the shoulder around, and then make sure it's lined up just right so it tabs all in. Because there's a little hook right there and a hook right here. And it's in. It's in, it's in, it's in. Now you can close the chest like right here. Working on the arms. Slide it down. And then we're going to fold this up, fold this up, and tab that in. And then from here, come back around with the rest of it. and bring it into place. Double jointed, super double jointed greatness.
strange way to do the arms, but it's done. There's your hand. Let's do the other side more gracefully this time, hopefully. Disconnect this, slide it down. We're going to fold this out of the way. Fold this bottom piece out. And with that, when you fold the hand down, the wrist will tab in to here. This will close up, and then this will double hinge all the way around and tab in on the other side to lock the wrist in on the other side. And more or less, you have yourself a gravestone. We're gonna have a look at this guy. This is a nice looking figure. He is big, he is massive. And of course, all the same stuff that carried through before. There's his face, he's nice and I love the paint on it. Uh, his arms, I don't think his arms, they're pearlescent looking. They might have pearlescent paint on them. It looks good. It's like clear purple, clear purple, purple paint down here. Purple paint down here. He's clean. This guy is clean. Look at his back. Clean. Just all the way down. A little bit of kibble with like exposed wheels and stuff. Uh, not the end of the world to me. I don't think so. Not that bad. But looking at him. Okay, so his head. Is that he has head articulation? Doesn't go up or down, but left and right. His shoulders, well, let's start with this butterfly he's got. A really good butterfly. Part of the transformation though. His arms go out past the 90. And of course, all the way around with a nice clicky clicky ratchet. He's got the thigh swivel. Elbow is not double jointed, but past the 90. And then you've got the wrist and you have some nice fingers that feel solid. If only KFC's hands were as good as x ha! <laughs> Just kidding, that's, that's, that's funny. But anyway, lots of movement in this hand. Uh, looks like one, two, three pins. So, one, yeah, a lot of movement in that hand. Okay, looking at his waist, he does do the 360 and a pretty good ab crunch. I wouldn't call it extreme, but it does a bit break the sculpt a bit, but not that much, actually. And then, looking at his, if you flip up his skirt past the 90, not quite the 90 to the back. Really, really tight uh, thigh swivel on it. And then the knee, a little past the 90. And a knee swivel. So a bit of a thigh swivel and a, and a full knee swivel, which you saw with the transformation. And then you've got the ankle rocker, a little bit of a little bit of ankle tilt and an ankle rocker. And so he could get quite some extreme poses if need be. Definitely a good looking bot. Let's get into some fun comparisons with this big boy. So here he is, and I'm gonna show, first of all, the G1. And so this is the G1 toy, and as you can see the way it's made, Oh, I knocked that out of his hand. He just, uh, this doesn't match the toy as much, but there are some of the homages, like these, these little mini tires on it. That, that's pretty cool. I mean, this is the tires the toy, but when it transforms into the real look, it uses those little tires. Next, we're going to compare him to MP10, <laughs> nope, 44. MP44 comparison, and there he is. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm okay with the size. I still really feel like the leaders shouldn't be much bigger than Prime. This isn't too much bigger than Prime. And then we're gonna get into, if I was comparing him with his team, well, this is kind of how he'd look with his team, right? That's how he'd look with them. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna transform all the back. I, I just can't wait to make my Minasaur. I've got them in. Combine mode, ready to go. So anyway, and then for what everybody's been waiting for, a comparison to Fans Toys. So there is the almighty Fans Toys. So let's do a 
quick 360 comparison of these guys and then we'll compare them to the tune. So looking at them, it is really hard to say which one looks better. Uh, personally, I'll tell you after we do a 360. This has the transparent uh, windshield, which that does not. So it's kind of a win there. I like the chrome. There's no chrome. That looks more tuned than that. That looks tuned. This looks more real world. You got some more stuff too right there. So looking pretty good. I would really say the whole chest area is equal on both of these guys. That's plastic. That's die cast. That feels like plastic. That feels like die cast. But I know there's a lot of die cast in this guy. It's just, it's in different places. So they do different die casts in different places. Let's so take a side view. And, and here's where I really want to point this out. I really think tune toy. And here's why. There's a toy. It, it, that, that's kind of what happened in this case. That's not usually a, a Vans Toys thing, but Vans Toys maintained all of the whole trailer in it. And so with that, you have this. Now, I'm not a fan of this. I don't like the way that looks, but it does match the toy better. I think that matches the tune better. I think that is a better look. And then the backpack, there is a backpack on this guy, but this backpack, well, it just looks like a folded up trailer on its back. Let's turn it all the way around and get the full back. And this is much cleaner from back, much, much cleaner. But this feat of engineering to put that whole trailer into this unit is actually amazing. It's amazing. It's, it's kind of like, man, it's, it's hard to fault it for that because of the engineering that went into it. But on the flip side, I think that looks better. And this is kind of what I expected. I never expected the whole trailer built into it. I expected that. So, I don't know. Looking down here, although this is a little bit, this is where I think the most kibbly part of this figure is right here. And I guess the side of the backpack down here, this is kind of kibbly too, even though this is smooth. So really it depends on what you like the most, but let's get a tune picture up of these guys. And let's put a tune picture right in the middle of these guys. And so as you can look, I mean, they both look pretty good. They look, both look pretty close to tune. Um, I don't know why this seems to have popped up a bit, but anyway, they both look pretty tuned. I just think that, I think Experience Bus does look a little bit closer to the tune animation. So I'll let you decide for yourself. But in the end, what does this matter? What does it matter which one looks more like the cartoon? The reality of it is which one looks more like the cartoon is the one you'd want to have in your bot mode. Now, if you're only getting one, you're probably gonna put it in combine mode and never see this mode or the alt mode again. This has been the X Transbots Gravestone and it is the Motor Master from x Transbots for their Minasaur. Will combine into Minasaur. Doesn't come with combining parts. Doesn't come with a trailer. But looks really good. Feels really solid. I really like this guy. In fact, I'm torn whether I get a second one if I use this in combined mode. I don't know. Because I'm, I, I might use theirs as combined mode. I might use DX9's as combined mode. I don't know maybe even fans to use this combined mode so we're still trying to figure all that out because we don't have any to combine yet and it's kind of sad that i've got the whole team and i can't combine it but on the flip side of just motor master this is the cheapest one you're looking at 130 versus 180 and the reality of it is fans toys didn't come with combining pieces this doesn't come with combining pieces i really don't care about a trailer i want combining pieces which is what their trailer is so we're gonna see about that in the end. I do feel like there's a few points in the transformation that I feel like you could break some flimsy small pieces, but the reality of it is the overall main figure, I just don't see those parts breaking, but just some small flimsy pieces along the way. Other than that, if you're real, real careful with all that, you should never ever break this guy. And he looks really good. Let me know what you think about this. You get yours at Show Z. There'll be a link in the description. Like, subscribe, if you're here, hang around.